All right, so today's going to be more of a show and tell than anything else because although I could show you how it works, I'm not anywhere near competent enough to give you all the perfect history and um, the exact workings of this thing. But what we got here is an interesting piece of, I guess, nautical history. I'll open the box for you. It's a heavy toy. I'll raise this up so you can see. So what we have here is basically a rocket pistol used for saving people that were uh, obviously in distress in their boats. And it was invented obviously for that reason. The guy who invented it, apparently he had seen too many people that were close enough to shore dying because they couldn't get out to them in the bad weather. So he decided he was going to make a tool for doing that. So you've got your instruction manual here. You've got two boxes of the line for it. You hook it directly and fire it. You don't take it out of the box. Then you've got the modified flare pistol. Which in itself is an interesting piece. the rockets for it, where you connect the rope to it, and as it says here, you can't fire them, or you should not fire them without the line attached. And the last piece of kit would be these right here, which are the actual cartridges. A few cartridges in here. I've marked this with uh, 21 grains because I opened this one here. So it's a coarse black powder, 21 grains in there. There's a whole setup of how put in, there's a whole bunch of cardboard pieces in there, so it's not the full size of this. Anyways, what you do is you open it up, this fits in, and that's your launching cartridge. Take it out, you don't need an accident in here. Works just like a regular flare gun. It's got the safety on it where it's far enough away and you have to have the trigger pulled to get to where it's supposed to go. Alright, as you see, it's a sleeved piece. They turned down the end of the barrel and they added this to it. Got the extra handle, as you saw in the picture. This guy with his nice little uh, outfit on. As you see, it's connected like that, the box. Now what you do is you would take the actual rocket here, which is a uh, black powder rocket. This one had a hole in the bottom, so I had a look in there. And yes, it is a black powder rocket. And fits in like that. And you tie your cable to the, your rope to the bottom of it. You hold it like this, and when you fire it, 
you uh, you launch this, there is a video of a guy in Australia firing one of these things off the ladder. He just strapped it to the ladder, obviously, because uh, I think they're death trapped to try to hold. It might work, but with the age of these things, I'd be uh, a little worried. Can't really see it very well, but it looks to be an actual. Uh, the rocket isn't a flat-ended one; it's got a core through it, which allows it to burn faster. The only, well, the only issue, a couple of issues I see with this thing is number one, it's fully steel. So if you get a uh, rocket failure, you're probably going to get hit by a piece of steel which would not be a very pleasant thing, which is why I do not think firing it from the hand right now would be a good idea. All it takes is a crack in your black powder to turn this into a pipe bomb. And, uh... It just doesn't strike me as something that would be very fun to hurt myself with. According to this, it's May 47. That's just a wooden plug at the end. Behind that should is some sort of a uh, plaster cement plug. Same thing on this side, except it's got just the hole for the nozzle. And uh, I haven't taken it apart more than that to actually see how much black powder is in there. But it's not a, not a little bit. So this thing here was used to uh, to help people who are in uh, boats close to shore. Back in the day, during storms and that, when they would have issues with uh, like capsizing that, at least they could fire a, a cord out to them, pull in the boat itself, or get the people pulled in safe enough with a line. There was 150 yards of rope attached to that and then you pull in the main rope with it afterwards so that's the actual rocket pistol hope you found this interesting if you have any questions about it I could try to answer but mm, there's really I don't have all that much information on it other than the manual and this stuff here maybe one day I'll try to have it remotely fired, but for the meantime, if you want to find it, just look up the actual name of this, and you should be able to find a video of, like I said, the guys that sound seem to be in Australia, firing it. It makes one hell of a lot of noise, and uh, it's pretty impressive to watch, so hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.